Hi, I'm Chef Joe Simonero with Taste This Television here to talk to you about Accelerator Hand Dryer. You know, keeping up with hygiene, washing my hands, and making sure that there's no transfer of bacteria is important for me and Taste This TV, which is why I rely on a machine like Accelerator to dry my hands. It's efficient, it's strong, and it's powerful. And it only uses up electricity and energy when you put your hands under and take them away. So for drying my hands in the kitchen, I rely on the accelerator to handle all of those needs. For more information, log on to the website at the bottom of the screen. Hi, I'm Mark Solas and we're at Master Purveyors. And I'm the Flaming Greek. And we're here to talk about shorts. During different times of the year, different meat cuts have different values. And between August, September, and October, the short rib is an inexpensive item. During the winter time, it goes up in price, but right now, it's a great opportunity to capitalize on an inexpensive item, have a great meal. So, what I'd like to do is, Chris, I wanna show you some short rib items that they can grill on the barbecue, that you can do great on the grill, right. or even braise and do something inside the oven. So, so why don't we? Let's go, check okay. it out. So, come with me over here. So, so if I may ask you, Mark, this portion of meat comes from obviously the rib. Right. All right. So this is this is the end of the rib. Right. All right. So what we do is from this end of the rib, we cut out short ribs. We take three or four bones off this end end cut, and we reduce it down to right. something like this. So you usually get four in a packet. Right. You see there are four bones. One, two, three, four. So this portion of the actual meat, the fat in the back, you just cook it the way it is. Yeah, well, you just you can put your braises. If you wanted to braise, you can braise it whole. Right. And all the meat's gonna fall right off the bone. So if, when you're braising a piece of meat, it becomes nice and tender. The longer you braise it, the more tender it'll be. Gets. Another function that we could use a shore for is, is actually barbecue. We do a lot of Korean restaurants, and Korean restaurants do a, a barbecue shore. They cut it nice and thin, and they, they, they marinate it, and they put it right on the grill. Barbecue it, and these are great. These are finger food. It's inexpensive, and let me show you. There's something like this in the supermarket may cost somewhere under five dollars a pound. So you can get three, maybe three slices to a pound, and be full. The whole family. Right. You, you can, can feed them cheap. So I'm going to show you how we do it. Please. Okay. Okay. So the key is to make a nice thin shorter, it's about three eighths of an inch. So we cut about three eighths. Very, very thin. I'll give you one little slice to show you. That's thin. That's how thin. And you put this on a barbecue. So is this anything to do with like the Chinese spare rib? Do they use these for spare ribs? Well, these are beef. These are actually beef ribs, right. beef shorts. The Chinese will do a, a, a pork. pork spare. Uh, that we can also show you at another time. But just to give you an idea. Oh, so you're doing the bone in everything. The bone in. Wow. That's why it's great for a barbecue. Because right. you get to chew on the bone after you're done eating the meat. So and we, the marrow's in there, too. Marrow's in here. It's, it, it emanates right. into the, into yeah, the yeah, meat. Yeah. Okay, let me come, come over here. We'll show you. See, now you have the short. Now, when you're buying this, if you're buying it in a restaurant, in a supermarket, it will probably come already trimmed up. Take a little of the excess fat off the back. See, not much loss, not much waste. And everything's hand trimmed. What we do here at Masters, everything is hand done. Because uh, machines can't really 
replace that of a good butcher. Right. So just to give you an idea, Chris, you have a piece like this that goes right onto the grill. And all that marble, how beautiful. All this fat will burn out into right. the fire, flame. into the flame. And right. you can sear this with the torch and seal the top, right, and the bottom. And you have a nice, nice marinade, yep. right, a barbecue sauce sure. is on top. And because of the marbling, and you can see the, the fat running through it, it'll actually melt, it'll melt uh, into the meat, come nice and flavorful, nice and juicy, so and nice I, and tender. If I may, sorry for interrupting, but if I may ask you, you know, you've sent me meat and I've cooked it and it's absolutely delicious, but the fat on it is different in a better way. Well, what is it with the fat when it actually melts, it dissipates evenly, and it's not that thick lard. Is it what you're feeding the actual beef? Well, here at Masters, you know, we're, we're a prime meat house. Right. So we buy the best cattle. The breed's either Hereford influence or Angus influence. So it's the type of meat, the cattle that we're actually bringing in here. So it's what they feed them also. It's like grains, corn, wheat, barley, sugar pulp, some silage. Uh, silage is actually the, the corn stalk. So after they take the corn off, they'll take the, the stalk. Roughage. Roughage for the animals so it, it, so it uh, digests properly. Right. Uh, and that actually, the, the feed will actually help the, the flavor profile. But you can see just from the, you know, from the shore of the nice and thin, this here is about maybe a pound, pound and a half. Get four little slices, four nice slices out of it. Five Good. bucks. And you're talking about maybe five dollars worth of meat. Something inexpensive in a supermarket. So people on out there, get on a master purveyor's best meat on the planet. Okay, so um, there you have it. This is a great way to Enjoy a barbecue, inexpensive during months of August, September, October. Shorb is a great, great price saver. Now let me ask you this, why is it a great, I know it, it's, why does it go down in price? Well, during the, these times of year, the time of year, there are other cuts that are more deme in demand. The sirloin steak, the filet mignon, the rib steak, this is barbecue time. So most of the people want those cuts and those are high in demand. And the items you have to braise, such as a shorb, which is mostly the basic function for sure, is not something you do in the summertime, you do that in the winter. But this is a great kept secret to actually barbecue them during the summer. So when the price is down, you put them on the barbecue, it's a, it's a great substitute. Nice value. Great value. You see, Mark, these are great for the grill. All right, barbecue sauce, but then again, if you cut a thicker piece, what I would do with them is take them and put them on a cast iron pan, in the house, in the kitchen. I would braise them maybe with some um, Cabernet, right? Some Shiraz. And then what I would do is take them and I'd stick them in the oven. Now, if I was outside, I'd also barbecue them and I'll torch them. Because as you could see, they, the marble and everything would just work out fine. Well, if you wanted a braise, you'd actually have to have a, a thicker cut, right? Right, but I would throw it in a cast iron pan. Right, so you want me, you want me to show you how to? Sure, please do. Cut a thicker cut? Yeah. Cut a thicker cut? So let's go over here. Because they normally come in, you know, like you're saying, they are thicker, but four pack. There you go. Just bring out the, uh, the measurement. Uh, I have this at. So what two they inches. normally like two inches? Two inches, right? So we'll basically make a two inch cut. Yeah, exactly. And from here, right? Now you have. If, we can trim them up a little bit. Always trim, by the way, a little tip for the consumers out in TV land. Always cut away from yourself. Never bring the knife to yourself and never put the blade towards your hand. So if you're cutting or trimming, never keep your hand on the same side of the angle of the blade. The blade always has to be facing away, away from your hand that holds. This way, in case the knife slips, the knife doesn't touch your hand. Great point. Right? Yeah. So always cutting away from yourself. Right? Well, that's why he's the expert. Mark, is there anything you could do with that fat, or do you just throw it out? Well, no. Well, first, we, would, be, we would discard the fat. Right. But at home, uh, fat like this, if, you know, if you're trying to get a little flame in your, your, your grill, right. you can always put this down on top of or top of the barbecue and it'll melt down and create a flame right. if you're dealing with lean meat. Right. So if you're dealing with meat, let's say a, a hanger steak, 
but may not have as much marbling or fat in it. Or um, you're looking for, let's say, a top round, a London broil. And you need a little more flame to come up. Oh, you can always uh, put little pieces of the trimming onto the barbecue and have it melt in. Because what I've been doing all these years is olive oil. So I would just put some olive oil if I was doing it on the grill, and that would give me the same effect. And this is, but this is already going to be uh, free. 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 So people out there, listen, I've told you about his custom blend. I can't wait till we get as far as the burger meat, but I would assume you're using these also in the actual blend. Well, uh, in, our, in our ground beef, if it's purely fat like this, we won't put this into our trim. Anything that's fat only goes into the fat can. If it is meat and fat, beef and fat together, that will save to, to go into a, a, a burger. But the burgers are brisket, sirloin, and what else? Well, brisket, short rib. Short rib. Chuck roll, and then we have sirloin, and depending on whether we want to do a dry age flavor profile, we'll add dry aged sirloin to it. People, I eat this stuff raw. So this would be the, this would be the two inch short rib. Beautiful cut of meat. You can see the marble in there, little bone. One, two, three, four bones. The marrow in here will help the flavor profile. And as you can see, you braise this. This is a delicious piece of meat. And this piece of meat has to be at least a pound for one person. And again, like I said. You got um, the, the flavor of the marrow there because the bone is cut. You got everything going for you. And inexpensive during this time of year. What a value, guys. Very big value. And that's it for the short rib. Well, I hope you join me in the kitchen. Oh, well, let's go. Let's cook so we them go, up. go do it. Okay. All right, we'll see you back at the kitchen. Okay. Yes! The authentic recipes for all of our products are signature to La Morena. The chilies are literally hand-picked for each can. Everything is manufactured in Mexico and imported into the U.S. La Morena is best known for its quality and authentic flavor, giving our users a taste of home. Stock up on flavor with La Morena. My name's Chris Kytus, I'm the Flaming Greek, and this is Mark from Master Purveyors. Mark, How you doing, Chris? good, what do we got today? Beautiful pieces of meat? Yeah, well, back in the plant, remember we cut some short ribs and we cut them on the fan saw. Yes, we did. And I cut them nice and thin. We made some little thicker ones and some thinner ones. This is basically a, what we call a Korean style short rib. We, we take a four bone short rib, cut it nice and thin, so we can basically salt them, pepper them, and put a little barbecue sauce on them. You marinate them for a few hours, and then you can throw them right on the grill. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this. We'll show you what we have here in a few moments. It's been in here for four hours. We did a, a wine reduction. So we'll start with these. We'll throw some salt on them. I always like to go easy on the salt to begin with because you can always add more. So this can be done a couple different ways. You can do salt and pepper and just throw them right on the grill. Yep. Right? But then you can also do it like Korean style. You can go on, online and look up recipes for Korean style uh, uh, shore ribs and you can follow the recipes and do them on the barbecue as well. See, these are gonna be delicious because all that's gonna caramelize. Sugar in there with the barbecue sauce. All right, so let's get started. Let's throw these down. All right. All right, so all we're gonna do is just sear these both sides. Great. Right. These, we'll throw these on as well. So let's get the other side too, and we'll do that like that. Just lay that on over, and you see you got both sides. Just wipe that over there, and you got both sides. All right, so tell me a little bit about this. We see a lot of marble in here. Yeah, well, these, these shrubs are prime shrubs. We took them off the carcasses yesterday, right? It's nice and fresh. The more marbling you see is the great the quality of the, uh, uh, the beef. Yes. Uh, these all came off of Angus steers. And what's unique about them is that they're nice and beefy, right? A lot, there's a lot of meat in them. Some shrubs you see they're very fatty. Uh, these have a lot of meat on them. And they, they actually, we, we call them center cut. 
So if you're going shopping in a supermarket and you want to ask for the center cut shore ribs, and this is a great time of year to actually use shore ribs because August, September, and October, as I said before in the plant, this is the warmer climate where shore ribs are really not the preferred item on a grill. Rib steak, shell steak, sirloin steak, skirt steaks, those are the preferred meat cuts for, for, for barbecuing. This is a unique way of taking advantage of an inexpensive item during the warmer climate. All right, so Mark, we're gonna give this a little torch. You're gonna to watch all this barbecue sauce just caramelize. How am I doing? You're doing great, should I turn them over? Yep. So you're a weekend warrior with the barbecue, right? When you're home on the weekends, have a beer, well, do the barbecuing. To, my beer days are over. Are they? Oh yeah. Done. Maybe now it's water, iced tea, soda. But it's nice, you know, to have a glass of wine you know, with this beef. Beef and wine go great together. So Red wine. So do you like cabs, Merlot, Shabazz's? Uh, cabs. Cabs. All right, I got some uh, short ribs in here. They've been, as I told you before, four hours, and we did it in a red wine reduction. For generations, our family has perfected authentic Mexican dishes from seasoned chicken and beef to carnitas, arroz, and barbacoa. The Cardenas family has always followed the traditions of their ancestors when it comes to cooking. From the beginning, they've created authentic Mexican dishes from scratch using recipes that have been passed down and perfected over generations. This tradition of gathering around a great meal with family and friends is what their hero, Foods, strives to pass on. From our family to yours. So what we want to do is just sear these. Right. These are actually done. They're perfect. All right, you're the boss. Pull them off. All right, Mark, you grab them off. You got a lot of these nice are the, char. These are the seasoned ones. They look delicious. All right, we're gonna take short ribs off. Those are great. Yes. You gotta be very careful with them because they're so tender, they're gonna fall apart. People, you gotta try this at home. It's great. It's a red wine reduction. Falls right off the bone. Wow, and you had this on the, on the in the pot for four hours? Yep, three and a half, four hours. Wow, that's not a long time. Nope. It's great. It fell apart. Alright, so let's put this down here. I'm just gonna take a little more. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna try these were the ones that we marinated. I don't know if they're gonna Actually, top this. It's finger food. Mm -hmm. so you can just take it, right? It's 
like barbecue sparrows. Yeah, falls right but, off the bone. But beef. Excellent. I got great product. Thank you. And with something like this in a supermarket, at home, these eight, seven, eight, ten slices should be seven, eight dollars. Hey, listen, you feed three, four people. All right, mm -hmm. I'm the Flaming Greek. This is Mark from Master Purveyors. You can go to masterpurveyors.com, check out their full line of products. Until then, stay hot. I'm the Flaming Greek.